Welcome back. A couple minutes ago I finished installing the Mark IV Navigation Computer as well as the 16x9 display in this 2000 M5. If you'd like to see that video, it is on the channel. Uh, this video is regarding upgrading the navigation software to version 32. Mine actually already has version 32, but this is a modified version with the M splash screen, uh, night mode, and uh, speed camera alerts. It looks like it's a pretty simple process. I would do this while your battery is charged. Um, don't take what I'm saying as the truth, but trust me uh, as much as you want, if that makes sense. If you'd like to know what software your computer already has on it, get in your car, flip your key to position one, and scroll over to settings, hit OK on settings, and look in the top right. You'll see software, that's what the SW stands for, four meaning the computer. This is a Mark IV navigation computer in the trunk. If you have a three, it'll be a three, two, two, and one, one, so on. And then the dash one double O means this is version 32, which is the latest and greatest software that BMW has released for this particular navigation computer. I think it was released around 2008, so, you know, they're on their iDrive systems now. They've probably left this behind. However, I am going to try to change it to that uh, other version that will give me a couple other niceties. And it looks like what we want to do is, first step, I apologize, yes, it is dark, open your driver's door. This is going to be open through the whole thing, so I'm already going to apologize for the ding, ding, dinging that we're going to have throughout this video. So your driver's door is open. Come around to your trunk, open up your trunk, and eject your map disk. Just hit the eject button on your navigation computer and pull out your DVD. This happens to be the 2009 North America DVD. With the maps disk removed, we're going to come into the car and throw the key in position one, and then go back to the navigation computer. Again, this is all with leaving the door open. There's position one. I predict that will try to wake itself up. Yep, it's working on that. Then we'll come over and insert the software DVD. To get the software DVD, utilize the link below um, that will be in the description box for this video that will tell you how to download the software. Then you're going to want to use Image Burn software on a PC to burn that software to a DVD or CD. And then you'll do what we're doing here. It's a CD-ROM not in... CD-ROM in navigation, computer loading software. I'm fighting the tendency not to close the door. That's very annoying. It said that it can take up to a few minutes for the computer to bring up the install screen, so I'll wait, be patient, and film once it starts doing something. Okay, we have this screen, software update. The installation program will update your navigation system. This can take up to six minutes. Do not turn the ignition key off during installation. We're also going to leave the door open. Since we're on a Mark IV, this is probably a little bit quicker than the Mark III. If that progress bar is linear, then I would be correct in saying that. It would appear that we do have English and French on here in terms of languages. So if that matters to anybody. Okay, update is complete. Application software 10.1 or 01 says please remove CD and confirm with OK. So we meander back to the rear of the vehicle where we find that it has already ejected the disk for me. We'll come back into the car. Press OK. And uh, it says the system will reboot now. In a few seconds, it will start with your new configuration. So it's going to do a reboot with the new software. And I'll see if I can film that M splash screen when it decides to display that. And there we go. I guess that's pretty cool. And then back to our accept. It looks like it did keep my settings in here. Same version, 4-1-00, except this should have the night vision mode. I don't quite know how that works. Maybe that is a setting, or, or only I think I read it only works in one of the colors, maybe. It should know when the lights come on and off. I don't know. I will play with this, but that is how you upgrade your navigation software. Obviously, be very careful doing this. Don't disobey instructions, because if that screws up, you could get your whole car screwed up. I also highly recommend doing this when your battery has a sufficient charge. If it's been sitting in the garage for two months, you open it up, you start messing with stuff, computers, lights on, that is probably just not a good idea. So hope that helped out. Uh, the link should be down below. If you have any questions, send me an email, send me a personal message here on YouTube, and I'll do what I can to help you. Again, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys in a later video. Bye-bye.